What's going on y'all? Another day, we're gonna be doing a week of camping down on the Buffalo River in Arkansas. Super excited. It's gonna be a real good time. We got the Forerunner all loaded down. Show y'all a quick mod that I did this weekend with some scrap metal, create a little bit extra space in the back cab. So we're ready to go. It's gonna be a fun little camping trip down on the river. ourselves a tire carrier just made it real quick with some scrap metal it's not my best work so don't try to copy it definitely gonna have to beef it up brace it up gonna have to really just brace up the bumper more than anything because that's where my weakest point is right now we got it with a double latch system you can buy this ems off road got this sucker at the farm store pull it out slides out I had to weld this at home with my crappy little 110 welder, so I'm not super happy about those welds. I did most of this at my work after hours real quick, so I was able to do some of these with the 220 welder to make it pretty strong. All of this was done with the 220 welder. So like I said, I made it real quick just overnight. I had a couple pieces of scrap metal. Pretty simple, just measured about halfway across the bumper where I wanted it. I didn't really trust to put a ton of weight and make one all the way across with this little guy right here. So I wanted to make a half one anyways. Bolted this guy up, not going nowhere. Really, it's just gonna be pulling a little bit when it's open, but once it's latched in, it's not going anywhere. So I'm happy with it just for this quick trip. Right here, you can see that we got it all gusseted in up here, so it's not going anywhere. If I bend on it at all, it really is just moving the whole bumper up here. So I'm gonna have to run some cross bracing anyways. Not a big deal, we'll beef it up later. But as you can see, we're all loaded up. It's gonna be nice and fun. Do some fishing with my son down the river. It's gonna be awesome, I'm really excited. A lot of the fall colors are starting to come out, so it's gonna look so beautiful down in Arkansas. I'm real excited about that too. Well, we've been on the road for a few hours. Got about another 30 minutes to go. Truck's been running great. Just cruising along. we are definitely got some heavy weight on us right now. Fall weather's looking really, really good out here. All right, well, we are off road. We're gonna try to hustle down this trail and find our campsite real quick, right by the creek. Hopefully we can beat out the dark and get set up. We're gonna camp right there, so don't pee on it, okay? Don't get spooked, we're just gonna camp. I don't have my bow with me, so you're good. Yeah, I don't have my bow, oh. Oh, there's another one. 
Y'all are good, just keep eating. Literally in the woods. A white tailed deer. There's a bunch more over here. Yeah. Y'all like cheeseburgers? Well, here we are. Made it to camp. It was a little sketchy, but we made it. Pretty nice field with some deer in it. Really nice view of the stars. Already saw a meteor jump by. So that was pretty exciting. Let's see what we found in the morning. What's going on, y'all? It's the next morning. Made it out to camp. It's probably a bit chilly this morning. We're down in the low 40s, upper 30s. So we got a good fire going, trying to stay warm. Working on some bacon and egg sandwiches. Alright, leaving camp and going to find us a creek to fish. And this is the trail we were sneaking up last night in the dark and had no idea where we were going. Not too bad, you just never know where it's late at night you don't know where you're going. potential spot. Go scout it out and see if we see any decent fishing spots. Well you gotta hike down this very sketchy definitely snake hiding spot right rainwater runoff. I think right down here is some real good deep water I think we can have some good fishing. This water is so clear and nice. Got some tracks coming through here. Really, really nice area. Well, that fishing spot was a little more shallow than we wanted and we took down this dirt road to find another spot and it might get a little spicy we'll see well we came up to the classic hard medium easy what are we gonna do
back at campsite making dinner real quick. Got some foil packs with some steak potatoes. Don't forget the carrots. What do you think? Gonna be yummy? The fish weren't really hungry because it was the middle of the day. Yeah. We're gonna go back out there right before sun goes down, catch a bunch. Yeah. Yeah. I'll get I'll just catch some that would get eight. That's an idea. Oh yeah. And she's ready. Well, we fished until it was dark. Not much more luck. Head back to do some camping. Figure out what we're gonna do in the morning. Get to do some more late night wheeling. It's great when these trails are just wide enough to almost scrape your paint. Good thing we got good lights. It's the next morning we're getting all packed up here getting everything loaded it's been a real nice little campsite here brendan is up the hill fixing to do some rock bouncing on the way down whoa Got to this lookout over here. Here we check out the view. Big rock. Yeah, but... You coming? Camping near the mountain? Got to go out do some wheeling, got to do some fishing, and three or four days of just relaxing at our campsite. So that was really, really nice. Try to bring y'all along just to show some of our fun times. Appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you keep living for Jesus.